Hi, Capricorn. It is Alex. Surprise! I am trying something new. I am releasing videos during the week instead of on Fridays only. So let's see how long I can keep this up. But my current schedule is Earth Signs on Monday, Water Signs on Tuesday, Fire Signs on Wednesday, and Air Signs on Thursday, in addition to the standard Friday readings. Okay, so let's see what God Angels Universe has in store for Capricorn. There it is. Makes sense. Oh, Capricorn. Capricorn. Three of Wands. Three of Wands. All right. Let's see what we got. You started with the two and you ended with the three. So it's almost like you started with not necessarily knowing which way to proceed and you end with waiting for something to happen. Waiting for communication. Waiting for your person to choose you. Waiting for your person to want you. Whew, all right, let's get it going. I feel like I remember reading for you, Capricorn, ironically. I don't remember all of my signs, but Capricorn, I always remember reading for you. And I remember in one of your past readings, you had to make a choice um, between, you know, it's almost like my heart over my head, right? And you chose your heart. You chose to reinvest in the love of your life. You know, you chose to... You chose the emotional route, maybe versus the logical route. Um, you chose love. You chose the person that you loved and the person that you wanted to be with and the person that you wanted to spend the rest of your life with. And it feels like for a long time, it was a hard won battle, right? This was something that brought you to your knees as we see in that nine of wands, right? Some of you could have been dealing with the Leo, right? Um, and you gave your all to this and... You did it because you thought and felt and wanted to be happy. This was your happiness, you know, happiness.com, dot org, dot net, right? My top dropped and I don't top drop. It did drop. Anyway, you chose this person thinking that everything's going to be great. Life is going to be good again. Um, this is the love of my life. This is the person I wanted to be with and dunk, right? They were breadcrumbing you. You know, you would give 150% of effort. They would give you seven. You know what I mean? Um, they left a lot of love on the table. What I'm also getting to is that this particular person, um, angels say they did an about face. So it's almost like they, they um, filled your head up with all kinds of lies and information. Like... Yeah, we're going to be together and we should go ahead and get married and this, that, or the other. And I want to be with you too. So to an extent, you know, this Six of Pentacles is almost like, yeah, it should be equal. It should be like general reciprocity. I give you, you give me. I give you, I don't expect anything. You give me, you don't expect anything. That's positive reciprocity. Negative reciprocity is I am giving you, expecting to get back in return, right? I don't know if this is you or your person, but it was almost like you gave and you got bubkis in return, right? And this card also represents charity, right? Like, oh, you don't have any, I can give you some of mine, right? I just kind of felt like, you know, this definitely being a pentacle, which is an earth sign, which you are, Capricorn, it just kind of felt like you were given everything and your person was giving you donuts, right? You were giving them steak and they were giving you donuts. But to an extent, you know, again, with this person standing here with their back turned to all of these spilled out cups, it was almost like, you know, they got to the cups and they was all gung-ho and happy. Oh, we're going to have eight full cups and everything's going to be good and it's going to be great. Then all of a sudden, they just kind of turned their back and look where, the, look where the cups are now. They turned their back on this situation, point blank period. Now with the two of cups and uh, <clears throat> the page of swords, 
you know, he coming in with that sword to, to, to break these two up. You see what I'm saying? Like it was you and her or it was you and him and y'all were thicker than thieves. You know what I mean? But somebody came in, started text messaging again or hitting you up online on Facebook or your throwaway phone. Like somebody came in and look, ladies and gentlemen, that is a page. So he's young. Like he, you know, he ain't no mastermind. He don't necessarily know all of the rules of engagement. He came in little by little, bit by bit, cutting away. Cutting away and severing what you, Capricorn, built your heart out to get back. Now, the tower, which is Scorpio, and the star, which is Aquarius. Right? Out of nowhere, out of nowhere, the beautiful life that you were working towards is now back shot to shit. And you're like, how the fuck? How did I get here? Uh, no comment. Let me just keep reading. Okay? So it's almost like this this sudden change basically came along for you to figure out that what you thought you were building, this happily ever after that you were building, that you spent blood, sweat, and tears to build, Um, you were the only one. You were the only one building it. Your person was like... Yeah, it, it almost even feels like they were laying over. I hope not, but it was almost like they were laying over until a better opportunity came came along or they were laying over. Um, they weren't giving their all. Whether they were laying over or not, they weren't giving their all. It's almost like they... It's almost like they had their back turned or there was no real intention to fill any of those cups. You know, and you do actually see some of those cups upright, which I just finished looking at. So there was an opportunity. There was more than one, more than enough opportunities for them to make the effort. But I just feel like they haven't. They didn't. You know what I mean? Now with the Knight of Swords and then the Three of Wands, you're left kind of waiting like, okay, so what happens now? Not only that, but I do kind of feel like you're expecting or looking for your person to feed you some sort of honesty and some sort of truth to say, hey, babe, no, I'm going to stay in this with you or I was just going through something. Or you're waiting for them to say, you know what, I just don't want to be in this. Let me, you know, let me let it go. Let's let it go. You know, again, you open it with the two of wands, you close with the three of wands. So it's almost like um, Capricorn, you're sitting around waiting for somebody else to make a decision about what to do with the rest of your life. Now, what I also want to look at as well, of what angels just said to me too, for a lot of you guys, um, you know, with the sun here and the ace of cups, that says to me a new love, a new beginning, right? But how does new love and a new beginning to be happily ever after start with a choice and start with, you know, kind of like being tired and burnt out, right? So that kind of says to me something new. You guys know, like I know, it's all butterflies and rainbows and all of that. When you meet somebody new, you don't necessarily meet them, right? And right off the bat, it's trouble. You know what I mean? This right here is unrequited love, one-on-one. -on -one. You know, this is one person doing their part or trying to do their part while the other person has their back turned. This is unrequited love, one-on-one. -on -one. Okay? Okay. Capricorn, I'm going to go ahead and leave it there. If this reading does resonate with you, please feel free to give a like, share, or subscribe. I'm sorry if this is your situation, but it just kind of feels like these two people who, you know, you guys could have been lifelong lovers. You, you could have, this relationship could be 10, 15 years in the making, but unfortunately, whoever this page of swords was, who just nicely slid up in your relationship, all they had to do, they didn't even have to, to swing that sword. All they had to do was cut slowly but surely, like make a cut every day. They were pretty persistent and consistent at trying to kind of, quote unquote, tear you guys apart. And to me also, too, the tower card with the star card is almost like you thought you had it made. You thought everything was good. You thought your wish had been fulfilled. Then all of a sudden it's like, no, nope, we right back here in the beginning. We got the three of wands and then the two of wands. The two of wands is okay. Let me balance this out. Which way do I go? Which path do I take? The three of wands is, you know what? Okay, there's a new, you know, a new path or new something was introduced. I don't, now I'm really stuck. 
before first I had to figure out which one of the two now I have three options so I'm just really stuck not necessarily knowing what's going on hoping that whatever it is that I'm trying to seek will come find me right and that says to me too the knight of swords you're looking for that forward blunt you know clear cut communication that honesty this that's that lets you know where to go where you stand and how to how to proceed all right, Caps, that's it. That's it for good, good. All right, guys, love you, bye.